Good morning, YouTube. So today is a good day, and uh, uh, today I'm really giving it all to God. Um, not, I mean, I can't predict the future, but what I'm trying to get at is right now I am at the house of the Lord. And honestly, I'll, I want to take this time to s let you know that if you're ever in the surrounding area, if you're ever in Mathis on a Sunday morning or a Wednesday afternoon, Life Reach Fellowship is a beautiful church. Their worship, they really bring the worship. And it comes to you. You feel it. Their service, the pastor just has this great attitude. He has this great uh, personality. He has he has it. Whatever it is for a pastor to have, he has it. You know what I'm saying? I can't count the times that I've I've been out and in of this church that I've been lost and then found and lost and then found. And the thing is, I mean that uh, that's gonna happen a lot. I, I mean I'm not sure. It it doesn't have to. Everyone's journey is different, yes. But these people always with open arms. The members of this church. I got to give it out to Pastor Eddie, Pastor Robert, uh, Manuel. I mean, the, Manuel's not a pastor. But if they are, I'm going to say they're a pastor. Pastor Marty, um, Manuel, Marissa. When I came to this church for the first time, I had never been to a church where, like, I was skeptical. I was confused. I didn't know what I was doing there. And it's like that every time you go to church, okay? And the first thing that happened is they come and give me a hug. And that hug was just, wow. I immediately felt comfortable. I did. And this is, I'm proud to call these people my church family. I let them down. <laughs> I'm not saying I let them down. I don't know how they feel. But I know why I'm here. And I'm here because I have to focus on Christ and I have to focus on God. And sometimes when it's too hard to come to church, I always... From what they've planted in me so far, from being here, from what I've learned, is you have to come anyway. Because there's a God. And God is being spoke through those people. And, uh, so I gotta hear whatever I gotta hear. And that's why I come. That's why I do what I do. That's why I come here. It's, it's a beautiful thing. They've given me this awesome Bible. Like, like it's it's an amazing Bible, it really is. It's beautiful, it's nice, comfy. I've had a kids Bible for years. I love my kids Bible, but Life Reach Fellowship, like I'm saying, it's where it's at. There's many churches in Mathis. You're free to go to whichever one you'd like. But I'm telling you, for me, from my experience, there's beautiful, uh, heart giving love here at this church and they will make you feel right at home they have tacos <laughs> if i walk in there right now they're gonna give me a taco they're gonna offer me a taco not just one but many varieties it's an amazing church it, it is man and and i'm missing all this because i'm i'm just i don't know what i'm missing i don't know what but i come here anyway and they love me and they take care of me they i'm thankful You know, I've never really been into a church this long or stayed, like, com like constantly. I've drifted out, but, like, I've drifted out for months and not came back. This, no, this, not this one. I'm in and out, little, little, but I used to stick, stick, and then go. It's like a tug-of-war game, but Christ wins all the time. And then with the blessings that are showering over me in 2020, I won't talk about them. I'm not even going to. You just need to, I don't got to say nothing. You just need to know that big things are happening. I know that. You ain't got to, nothing. I know what I'm doing behind closed doors. 
I know what I got going on. And I couldn't have done it without the works of God. Because I'm going to give all the glory to God. I'm going to. He shows me why he does what he does. He shows me why my life has been what it is. He shows me why. And even when I couldn't figure out where he was. He pops up and says, now do you get it? Like, it, it all makes sense at the end. It's like watching a very, very, very confusing movie. You don't know what's going on. And at the end, it's like, whoa, what? Like, it all added up. That's what's going on with me lately. That's what it's been. Like, whoa. Like, and I was like, whoa, now. I'm, <laughs> I'm making fun of that surf video or whatever, but. Sunday services are a little bit more packed. I like Wednesday nights. It's a little more chill and quiet. I tend to like freak out when there's a lot of people around. I I have like this weird thing. Not not all the time. Like if I had to do a stand-up show, I would nail it. Because I've done it before. But like this is different. Like it's small things like this. I, I just feel like there's eyes on me all the time. And I get scared and I freak out and, and I overthink. And I want to rebuke that. I want to be comfortable in everything I do. This church is awesome. I say it again. I love my pastors. I love my church. Because they love me unconditionally. They actually try to strive for what God stands for. They care. They honestly, truly care. They care about everything. You know what I'm saying? So, it's amazing. I like that. The pastor just drove by. <laughs> He's cool. He's cool. So, please come to Life Reach Fellowship. I cannot stress it enough. If you are a viewer, a, a, a subscriber, if you're watching this video, and you just, if you have the littlest thought of maybe oh I want to get into church I want to, whatever if you know me and if you know the things that I've done please don't let that slow you down don't be like oh well Juan Villarreal goes there and he's this or he's that please don't let that get in your way man just don't let me get, get in your way of your thoughts and beliefs and be like oh okay well he's supposed to be this this is why I don't go to church because people like you don't go to church man I'm me plain and simple I am me I do what I do God is him he goes you go to church to listen you ain't going to church for me you going to church for him Come to Life Reach Fellowship. Come to Life Reach. It is amazing. It is amazing. And right now, I really want to go in there and just focus on God. I just want to focus on God. I do because I love God. And what He's done for me is just amazing. He's done outstanding things for me. Thank God I'm recording. <laughs> he has done beautiful, beautiful things for me. He has. He really has. Well, church is about to start. It's 11.02. Starts at 11. So We make it convenient for you. People don't like to wake up at 8 in the morning. I do. But, I mean, other people don't. <laughs> so, we start at 11. There's tacos. <laughs> Again, like I said, tacos. And juice. If you like juice. I don't know. Right, I just feel like someone out there needs to hear this. You are welcome to the church, to Life Reach Fellowship. You will be more than welcome. They will welcome you with open arms. You will be, you will walk in however you're feeling. It'll just brush off. You will be welcomed. Oh, I love you guys, but I gotta go. I gotta get into this service. So I love you. Thank you. Come to Life Reach. So today was a very beautiful service. Um, like, and I, I really wanted to get the pastor to to get into the camera and say and welcome y'all into the church. Um, the pastor's a very loved man. <laughs> People love to sit and chit chat with him and talk with him, which is uh, he's obviously doing something right. That church is amazing. It really is. Um. But he spoke about like 
2019. And, and it's funny because today was like, whatever happened in 2019, let it be a lesson for 2020. And it was never meant to be a, like a wreck, but it was meant to be a lesson. And it's just amazing because I walked into 2019 knowing that it wasn't going to be my best year. And it was the worst year I've had since 2015. But uh, 2019 has been a roller coaster ride. And with everything that happened recently, uh, God telling me, I'm revealing, showing me that you know the phrase or the, the scripture that says, You don't know what I'm doing now, but you will. Something along that line. Um, I understood it. Because he unraveled everything before me and he showed me why everything was happening. You know, how it all came it all came to mix up her. He knows what he's doing. Plain and simple. I gotta make sure I'm re I gotta make sure I'm recording. But yeah, he knows what he's doing and um So yeah. Uh all I gotta say, I'm gonna go inside, uh, do a little chores. I gotta do laundry, dishes, stuff like that, and hopefully get a little work in. So, I mean, God is good and God bless. I'm home now, so. <laughs> so, I get home to Sophia on a mission. No, 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 this is the one that you need to turn on. Sophia has got down and made an actual homemade pizza. This looks really good. Get a zoom. Boom. I'm gonna spit all over the pizza. What? Oh, with the dog here? Don't kill me. Oh, snappers. Dang. I can't find my pizza cutter because somebody. I didn't do nothing with Hasn't washed the dishes. I didn't even. We didn't even make pizza. Yes, we did. When? The other day when we bought that three dollar pizza, remember? And I was depressed because they bumped up. Oh the yeah, they bumped up the price. Horrible. Horrible. I have. This one's mine, and then this one's mine. So we what? get this piece. <laughs> you get the metal. <laughs> oh, that looks good. This isn't cutting because I can't grab onto the pizza and the. Hey, you want me to do it? No. I can do it. I know you can. I could, I'm good at that actually. You're good at cutting? The pizza in half. You just move it sideways. That's what I'm doing. And I like that. It's all in the wrist. Damn, that looks good. Alright. Give me my whole half on one plate. I'm gonna eat it like a pizza like taco. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So with that being done, what I got going on over here in my office, the bacon office, the bacon layer, we'll call this the bacon layer from now on. What I'm doing is, I got a bunch of notepads, things going on. This right here is my fully finished, completed screenplay. That's done. That's ba that's Los Abuelitos. That's the one that's being copyrighted at the moment. This one right here is not going to be for a screenplay, but it's going to be for... As I'm writing out the title bacon, I said I wanted a storyboard, so I'm going to get some paper, storyboard it out. This will be like my shot per shot image of how I want that film to be. This here, this here is not my studying. This will be like for notes studying or something like that. I don't know yet. Uh, I got a planner. Okay, yeah, yeah, perfect. Okay, I got my planner right here, which means this will more or less tell me what to study and when to study it. Uh, how to go about my days because as we know I got just so much stuff that I got. I got crash course studies that I got to go over. I got to go over my Canon. I know how to use my Canon. I just want to know how to use it like 110% forward and backwards. Um, I got to fit God in there. Seriously I do. As, as a God has to be in everything so I do have to put Christ in my life. I got to plan out at least an hour a day when to read the word because without this without god none of this would be possible and i'm, I'm gonna be stronger about having them in everything i do now so yeah so i'm also studying um <clears throat> crash course i went over that i gotta study everything about youtube like i gotta figure out how what so what can be done what can't be done what's man how else to explain it? 
Okay, moving forward, my iMac, like for instance right now, I'm going over audio because what I would like to do is I got a project coming up. I want to make a video for my mother and I want to just pretty much thank her for everything she's done, but it requires, the way it's in my head, I require it to where I'm record. like let's say I'm talking right now and then the picture changes, but you can still hear me verbally, but you're seeing something else. It's so good to me. Would you bring me pizza? I love you. So yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. I haven't really figured out what these notes are gonna be specifically for each notepad, but I got an ideal, so it'll come along. And she brought the wrench. You crazy girl. You crazy? Anyway. <laughs> so right now I'm trying to figure out that. I'm going over that with the iMac and uh there's it. She's always feeling like I've noticed throughout this video it's mysterious. Something. She's just awesome. She's an amazing girl. Sophia, okay. you're amazing. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> All right, guys, what's going on? So I figured out what this red one's gonna be for. Hold on. So like, as I'm here doing things like studying, whatever, learning myself, things that I'm forgetting to inch into you, like things that come into my head, or whatever, they're gonna be like little notes. For instance, I got right here, I got, ah, 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 man, hold on. Okay, I got learning how to audio, which I did. So, I'll get into that in a minute. The next on the list is Craigslist, because uh, I just got an email on Craigslist a while ago. What I did was I had set up a, a Craigslist deal, trying to find YouTube actors. Age appropriate, nothing uh, uh, inappropriate that I'm asking for anyone uh, help or whatever. And then right now it's putting, what did I put last? Formatting. Okay, yeah. Can't even read, can't even read my own handwriting. So, uh, I'm going to put formatting. So, uh, after I'm done with this, I'm going to get back to that Craigslist deal. And then I'm going to format. So, what I did here was... Uh, this is like the audio thing I'm doing. Because I'm going to make a project for my mother. And uh, it's going to pretty much be like, thank you, mom, or you raised a successful man is what I'm going to title it. And uh, what I wanted to do was learn how to narrate more or less. So that's how, that's what I did here. See how, like, you got one clip, like, you got a clip over here, and you got a clip over here, but you want to show something in between, but yet you want the audio to go. So I learned how to do that. Uh, it's going to be a tad off just because I, I, uh, I mixed with it after I was done figuring it out, but like, it is an idea. So, I'm actually gonna not do that because it's getting kind of late, and then I still gotta edit this vlog, and I just, I have got caught up in something. So, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, but seriously. But I'm gonna go ahead and go to the store real quick, fill up the car with gas, because tomorrow's at work. Yes. And, uh, get back on that. So, after many, uh, Difficulties trying to. It's just a very long story. I'm not going to get into it. I have decided to just continue using Celtex, the website. I will finish my bacon screenplay on here. And then once I do that, this is screenplay number two. Okay? So once I. F well, three and two, whatever comes first. This is my boxing one. Once I finish this thing up, I'm gonna copy and paste it onto Word and then continue formatting. It's gonna be a lot more work, but I can do it nonetheless because I am one Garriel and I am awesome. So I killed that bird with that stone real quick, real fast. Uh, I didn't plan on doing it like that, but it's it's right now it's more easier. Mm. I still need to figure out how to make my freaking video, my new welcome to my YouTube channel. So I don't know. I'm going to take a little break just because I'm overwhelmed. I really am. And I'm going to get back at it. So, uh, like I said earlier, dude, I took an ugly nap. I crashed out awesome. Uh, I mean, not, I, not that I just woke up. I've been up for a good while. But, um... So I decided, like I said earlier, write it up on Celtics. I am, however, 
I am going to end this vlog just because it's a work night. It's early. I got to wake up super early because, like I said, I want to get going at 4 a.m. Uh, so what I'm going to do for the rest of the night is I'm just going to read this because it's been a while since I've done anything with it. I'm going to read it, get the story, the blood pumping, the juices flowing, get everything going to where I can image everything the way I remember seeing it. Uh, tink it up a little bit because it's a little... Every now and then you'll reread something you wrote and it's perfect and sometimes you just kind of want to timely adjust it. Bad dog. Anyway, so I'm going to do that. I'll go over it. Uh... So I can like follow up where I'm at with it, and then continue from there later on tomorrow morning. Yeah. So um, so thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Click that subscribe button. Uh, and I'll see you next time on the daily bacon.